Hello and welcome to highlights of stage two of the 2022 Giro Donne, the 33rd edition of the race. After the opening day's time trial, it was the USA's Christian Faulkner that led teammate Georgia Baker by four seconds. Elisa Balsamo would start the day in the green jersey, while Blanca Vass was in white as the best young rider. The stage, 106 and a half kilometers from Vasilius Tutotoli, an early queen of the mountains, seven and a half kilometers into the stage. And there was an intermediate sprint with 32.4 kilometers to go. And with a faster run to the line, it should be a day for the sprinters. An early breakaway group went clear early on of Fon Triska Braus and Neve Bradbury. They took the points in the Queen of the Mountains. That would mean Braus would pull on that jersey at the end of the day. The next breakaway that went clear was Matilda Vitilio and Cristina Tonetti. They were caught by a chasing group of Inga Cesolini, Beatrice Rosata, Marta Jaskulska and Francesca Pisciali to make a strong group at the front. They worked well together and uh, as they headed towards the final 30 kilometers of the stage, the gap was heading out over three minutes. Into the intermediate sprint, and it was the Live Extra rider, Marta Jaskolska, who had gone into the day one second down in the Best Young Riders classification, who took the three bonus seconds ahead of Rosato and Tonetti, the young Polish rider, always aggressive, always in the breakaway groups, and a well-deserved three bonus seconds. As they headed towards the final 20 kilometers of the stage, though, the sprinters teams were very keen to get things back under control. And it would be just inside 10 kilometers that the catch was made. With multiple sprinters, Elisa Balsamo, Mariana Voss, Emma Norsgaard, Lotta Kopecky and Charlotte Kuhl, all within the peloton on day two every opportunity to take a stage winner. The sprinters teams were not going to let anything go. It was Jumbo Visma and Canyon Shram that made the catch while DSM started to come through to the front for the young rider Charlotte Kuhl. In to the finish, Jumbo Visma looking to try and deliver Mariana Voss to a 31st stage victory. It would be Elisa Longo Borghini and Lucinda Brand that were the final lead out riders for the world a champion. Longo Borghini in the white would be Mariana Voss, though, in the yellow and black colours of Team Jumbo Visma that launched her sprint first. The world a champion, Elisa Balsamo, right on the wheel. And it would come down to the throw to the line with Balsamo edging out Voss for her first Girodone stage victory. And with it, 10 bonus seconds and the Malia Rosa. There's confirmation of your top 10. Elisa Balsamo from Mariana Voss and Charlotte Kuhl. Capecchi, Consoni, Barbieri, Baker, Bastianelli, Zanardi and Teutenberg, your top 10. Great aerial shot of the sprint. Mariana Voss knew that she had to go long in the sprint. Balsamo straight on her. And a big career box ticked for the Italian. Her first Giro stage win. And she would proudly pull on the Malia Rosa. A big day for Elisa Balso and a very popular victory, as you can imagine, for the home fans. She headed towards uh, the podium and the pressure off for the Trek Segafredo rider. She now pulls on the Malia Rosa and leads Georgia Baker by nine seconds with Lotta Capecchi now third at 10 seconds. Voss up to fourth, while Kristen Faulkner drops to seventh at 19 seconds. Big moment for the world champion, Elisa Balsamo, your new Malia Rosa in the Giro Donne as we head towards the third stage and the third of this race in Sardinia before the riders will have a rest day on Sunday and head to the mainland for stage four.